if you didn't find 3 volt and 5 volt please please don't waste time here don't waste time over here you have nothing to do with all the circuits you should look for 3 volt and 5 volt first okay so first step this is the first step is checking the main voltages the vn the b plus okay is it good or not and of course you should always refer to adapter and the battery okay is it inserted correctly is the adapter good is the vm present is the power jack soldered correctly to the motherboard etc after this tip is okay so let's assume that this tip is okay so let's remove the circle then we should go here this is how you can diagnose very professionally any failed motherboard then check this part or this section here where we have three volt and five volt after getting these two voltages go then and check here the secondary voltages where we have the cpu core the voltages for the ram etc hi again so welcome everyone so this time with another power sequence a very easy power sequence that will change your prospect about uh, laptop or motherboard troubleshooting so please stay tuned until the end of the video because this power sequence will 100 percent give you what you need the basics and everything you need to know about the power rail and the power management in the motherboard and then you can troubleshoot and isolate any failure very quickly so let's get started but please before diving into this tutorial make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell icon because i can only help you to be professional in this field if you are subscribed and of course if you hit the bell icon in order to get notified with future videos like this one that i make in a daily basis because of course your motivation so don't forget also to like the video because your likes really motivate me to create more and more unique content for you and of course don't forget to join me in my patreon page where you will find this schematic and many other schematics and also you will find many tips and tricks that i use personally to troubleshoot and solve the persistent issues in computers so let's get started so here basically before i made this video i try to mark some ices here this is the first one so here we have green circle as you can see so this gray circle basically are the main ICs that is responsible for the power in the motherboard we have the adapter as you can see we have the battery okay the battery with six cell we have the charge ic as you can see we have bq 24 700 charger so this is the ic the charge ic that is the responsible for uh, adapter battery selector circuit okay it manage the power between the adapter and the battery and over here also we have another ic this is basically maximum it7 34 this is for 3 volts always and 5 volt always because these two voltages are also a mandatory and a very important voltage in the motherboard because based on these two voltages other voltages are generated okay so if you have the problem with the power in any motherboard because the issues basically in every failed laptop or computer are two kind of issues it could be a power issue or a data issue so when it comes to a power issue you should check those circle the adapter the battery the charge circuit and the three volt five volt ic okay so when there is a problem with a data 
issue for example you have a problem with the display a problem for example with uh, anything for example the stability of the laptop you should check this for second this is based on my experience and this is a very logical methodical approach so when it comes to data problem check this for i see we have this I see for the VD decor, this one basically and this one are for the CPU, means the CPU circuit. Here we have the CPU core. The CPU core VCC basically is the main voltage that feed and power the CPU. And the problem with the CPU, we speak about the data problem. Also, you should check also, as you can see, this IC wing, where we have 1.05 volt. Always 1.05 volt is VCCP or the power for chipset for the North Bridge, graphic card, and South Bridge or ICH. And also we have this voltage, as you can see, we have the TP is 51160 for this IC. This basically generate two voltages, one main voltage, 1.8 volt, and the half of this voltage, we have 0.9 volt. This is VTT for RAM or random access memory, do you see? So for the random access memory, every RAM has two voltages one main voltage in this case we have ddr2 okay we have 1.8 volt and for vtt we have 0.9 volt for for example ddr3 you will find 1.5 volt and 0.75 volt for ddr4 you will find here 1.2 volt and 0.6 volt and for ddr5 a very improved and enhanced ram you will find here as a main voltage 1.1 volt and as a vtt you will find 0.55 volt so here i mark this i see so when it comes to power please check this side okay please when you have a power problem please check this ic this one this one this one and this one okay and when it comes to data please check these four ICs for the ram for the processor and for the chipsets okay and here also we have this arouse this arouse also means the main power in the motherboard we also you have a problem with the power besides of these four circuits including adapter battery charge ic and 3 volt 5 volt ic you should check the main power in the motherboard we have as you can see the main power is the v in the 19 volt okay we have the b plus the b plus basically that you will find as you can see everywhere in the motherboard is the same as v in that in terms of current and in terms of the signal uh, purity or cleaning it is very filtered cleaned and smooth voltage so the b plus is the main voltage the b plus is generated or is extracted for from v in we have b plus here that is applied to this ic in order to get these two voltages this ic should get b plus 19 volt first and of course should get other enable signals like this one for example okay here also the b plus also is applied to the circuit in order to generate 1.5 volt and 1.25 volt for chipsets as you can see okay and here we have a slip s3 this is state s3 why because here we have as you can see the voltages for what for chipsets so the voltages for chipsets are generated in s3 state okay here also we have b plus as you can see we have b plus that is applied to the cpu ic or control ic we have here isl6260 or also another changeable 
i is a 6208 we have here cpu core we have cpu core so this ic need the b plus or 19 volt needs also some other voltages this is boost we can plus 5 volt v is this is a boost voltage and here we have the power good what is the power good especially meaning here do you see this is an input voltage the power code means the cpu core will not be generated until the power code is good is is good in all circuits means until the 3 volt 5 volt generated also uh, do chipsets voltages are generated the b plus is present these two voltages are good after all these voltages are generated correctly this ic will receive a power good means a status command means all voltages are good in the motherboard so let's get started let's generate the cpu core okay so that's why we have here as you can see b plus everywhere as you can see we have b plus everywhere in the motherboard in every ic you will find b plus as an input as a main input basically okay so to summarize a little bit here so what is exactly the meaning or the role of the power se sequence in every motherboard and by the way if you understand just one power sequence you can analyze troubleshoot isolate and fix any failure in any laptop regardless of the type or model of laptop or computer why because the working principle is always the same here always you will find the adapter you will find the battery you will find the charge circuit that manage the power between the battery and the adapter it means <coughs> here we have as you can see battery selector circuit when the adapter is removed the battery will send automatically as you can see the b plus to feed the whole motherboard okay then after the b plus is present all is good here the second step is this ic do 3 volt always 5 volt always the second step after the main voltage is good so after both steps here okay this is the first step we have the second step here is to generate 3 volt and 5 volt because without these two voltages nothing will be working on so the 3 volt will feed a lot of circuits in the motherboard including the power switch or the on off switch of the motherboard you will find 3 volt in the power switch so without 3 volt even if you press the power switch nothing will be happen the computer cannot turn on because the 3 volt is missing also the 3 volt will be applied to the bios the pin number 8 of the bios so the 3 volt basically is the working voltage for the bios and you know that the bios is the first circuit that comes on that charge for running the post or the power on self test after after that the operating system will be loaded so without three volt the bias will not work the power switch will not work so nothing will work that's why this is a mandatory circuit if you have a problem with the power always after checking the main power means the b plus the v in the power jack is good the adapter is good the battery is good we should check 3 volt and 5 volt if you didn't find 3 volt and 5 volt please please don't waste time here don't waste time over here you have nothing to do with all the circuits you should look for 3 volt and 5 volt first okay so first step this is the first step is checking the main voltages the vn the b plus okay is it good or not and of course you should always refer to adapter and the battery 
Okay, is it inserted correctly? Is the adapter good? Is the VM present? Is the power jack soldered correctly to the motherboard, etc. After this step is okay, so let's assume that this step is okay. So let's remove the circle. Then we should go here. This is how you can diagnose very professionally any failed motherboard until you find a failed logically and a very methodically. So then check this part or this section where we have 3 volt and 5 volt. After getting these two voltages, go then and check here the secondary voltages where we have the CPU core, the voltages for the RAM, etc. So please, if you didn't find, for example, the B, the, the B plus or you didn't find 3 volt or also 5 volt, you have to you, you, you don't need to spend time here and waste time here. Okay, so this is basically how you can analyze, troubleshoot, isolate, fix, and repair any failed motherboard. So that's why, please, the power sequence or the system power within any laptop or computer is very important. Please, the the previous video and this video are a very important video that I like very much in my channel. The, pre the previous video where I teach you to state the laptop or the power series S0, S3, S4, S5 and this video if you master and you understand these two videos I guarantee for you that you can understand and fix any failure within any motherboard. I know what I'm saying. Okay, so please, if you if you find this video a good video and you understand a little bit, please don't forget to like the video because your likes are what motivate me to create more and more videos for you. And don't forget to subscribe, share the video with other personal and people like you and of course join me in my patreon page for more unique content like this video thank you very much and see you in the next video